everyone, my name is Patricia Rollinson and today I'm going to show you how to make super, super fast and easy ornaments using stencils. This is a 3D ornament that's stacked together. Um, this one is a glittery lace ornament. This one is a snowflakey ornament with some resin in the middle of it to just give it a different effect. They're all super easy, they're super fast, and there's a variety of techniques you're going to use. We're going to use tools. Um, you're actually going to learn about things like um, glass effects and pearl pens and glitters in beautiful colors, um, dotting tools, um, glazing resin. Okay, so we have lots and lots to learn bottles for applying your glitter and mixing glitter. There's a lot to learn about this um, and I share a whole bunch of little secrets and these are a fun little practice um, ornament that you can do. Enjoy. We're going to put some tacket over and over on the back side of our stencils. I'm going to do this on a sheet of wax paper. The wax paper will make it easier for me to clean up. I'm on a nonstick mat, but um, the tack it over and over is a little bit sticky no matter how you're cleaning it up. So I'll just lay out my stencils. I'm going to use this jumbo, jumbo dauber and a scant amount of medium. I don't need it really, really, really sticky. I just want it a little bit sticky, so I'll kind of pounce off over there. Get it kind of evenly sticky and then we'll let, wait for it to dry and when it's clear that's when it's dry and then there'll be just like a giant lace post-it note and you don't have to then hold it down while you're doing your techniques and make sure you go all the way out to the edge and it won't stick or leave a residue on anything so you don't have to worry about that and then I take it off my wax paper and then just lay it someplace off to the side on something that won't get messed up You're going to base coat your ornaments. These are 3D ornaments and they go together like so. Um, you just put them um, on each other's little slots there and you can put them together. That way you can have something that is actually three-dimensional but yet stores flat which is awesome. <clears throat> You're going to paint them various colors. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some metallics over the top. So what I did is chose the color that corresponded with my metallic color and that's going to give it the gleam and shine like a metal or a, a, a metallic ornament. So I've got a brown one here and I'm going to do this one with the um, the Espresso Metallics by Deco Art. And then you can also do, I'm going to do a cream one that I'm going to do just kind of tone on tone and I'm not going to metallic that one. I'm going to do some varieties of different techniques. So one of the things I want to do is make a dreamy, snowy, snowflake kind of ornament. So I'm making this one ultra ultra blue deep in deco art Americana. So I'll get that wet. I've got a couple coats because if you slip slap on top of um, sheer paint it will kind of lift off. I'm going to go dirty brush into my my white and I'm going to slip slap. I'm going to find a steady spot here out to my edges and I can glaze and shade to finish this up. I'm going to work wet and wet So I'm trying to create kind of a modeled look. <clears throat> okay, you don't want too much of a pattern. I've got a little bit of a straight line pattern. You want kind of X's instead of a pattern. And maybe we'll just kind of tap and pat. And I think we might need a little sponge action. I can't find my sea sponge right now, but I've got a big old stippler brush. So what I'll do is I'll just go around and kind of just soften that just a little bit. Okay, so that just kind of blended everything down. <clears throat> now I'll wait till that dries, and then I'll do a little glaze technique around the edge, and then I'll apply my my pattern. All right, so I've got my ornament dry. Now I'll just go in and just glaze that around. I think I might need just a little bit darker because my edges are showing. Okay, so that's what we do when we're doing, you know, simple ornaments like that. We just kind of punt. So I've switched to Payne's Gray, and that's not as transparent. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and shade around the outside edge. 
Okay, now I'm going to use a combination of a couple techniques. So we want to do these quick and easy ornaments. I'm going to use a stencil that is de um, designed with some lace uh, motifs on it. I'm going to line up my stencil so that it fits on my ornament. And I've got a top center little notch right there that tells me where center is. And then I'll stick it down. <clears throat> now in this case, this ornament, I want to just do this kind of tone-on-tone -tone brown and gold glitter. I'm going to use texture glass, which is over here on my palette. And all the bottles paint fall down. <clears throat> I'm going to just pick it up with my palette knife. Okay. And then I'm going to just go across. This is such a cute technique. I was at convention and um, one of our customers came up and we were discussing this and we decided that this was the easiest way to paint an ornament ever. Okay, so you just scrape it across, get the whole thing filled in. This will wash off with water as soon as you're done. You just rinse it off <clears throat> after you get your glitter on it, that is. And so because we have this um, stencil sticky, it's going to make a nice clean, um, nice clean decorated ornament. Okay, I'll wipe off my palette knife. <clears throat> and now we'll just lift up, straight up. Let go. Oh, look at that. That's just perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll set this aside where it won't hurt anything. <clears throat> I'll switch to my glitter. Now this is going to dry crystal clear. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my glitter. And I've got my glitter poured into one of these little nozzle things. This is a great way to limit waste. Okay, and also I've got my glitter over this tray. Glitter is not a cheap substance, so you want to make sure that you're um, salvaging. The glitter tray has a little nozzle there where you can just pour it right back into your bottle. Therefore, you can recycle your glitter. <clears throat> so you get really good control with that, and I'll just continue to do that over the whole entire piece. Okay, now I've got my project all tapped off. I'll go ahead and empty my glitter tray right into my container. It's that easy. Okay, and you can see that I've washed my stencil off and the tacket stays sticky even after you wash it. It just dries sticky again. Okay, another technique for making a quick and easy ornament that's lace as well is I'm using a 3D ornament. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe off all my paint. And I'm going to do just a, um, almost like a wash, but there's no water in my brush. And dry rubbing, I want it to look like I washed it. I want to look like there's just a skim of color. <clears throat> over my ornament. I don't want it to look base coated so I can peek and see if I'm making a good good amount of color. I want a kind of subtle look and I'm wiping it off on the paper towel each time. And because I'm wiping it off I'm not going to get any of that bleed under effect. continue on down and then I'm going to repeat on all the sides because I'm doing a 3D ornament that I need to repeat on the different sides. Okay. Okay now at this point there are a couple things that you can do. I can take this pearl pen and I can make some lovely pearly dots that will settle down lovely can kind of do them in descending order. Okay. You can dot them in all types of places. Dots are great to where things come together. They're a really nice thing to have. Is that where I got that? Okay. <clears throat> and so what you'll do is you'll just maybe you can cinch your strokes in. You can totally go ahead and just give it dots and things wherever you want. And it's going to look like you did all these strokes all by yourself. Now, you don't have to just use the pearl pen. You can also use the Easy Dot tools. These are a series of dotting tools that you can use with white paint, pearl paint, metal paint, whatever you want to do. And these, you know, preload with the medium that you decide instead of preloaded with, uh, let's go to a bigger 
size. The neat thing about these is that they're numbered. So I know that I want to go up here to my number one on the other side because my dot wasn't big enough. And then I can just make my graduated dot. There's two different ways, um, two different looks really. The pearl is just gorgeous and very rich. Um, but the white is also very striking. The other thing that you can do is you can go with this fine line applicator. <clears throat> and this is a really neat little tool. You load it with whatever medium you want. And it's got this little wire nib thing inside to keep this little tube here um, clear. And so with this, fill it with whatever medium you want. And you can make your series. Let's get you going. Okay, there we go. You can make your dots whatever size you want to make your dots. Same thing as the um, pearl pen. Just this one is reloadable with whatever medium you want to put in it. Now, if you're using your pearl pen or one of these textures, make sure you leave it out of this area where the two ornaments need to slide together. If you're doing a flat ornament, then obviously you don't need to worry about it. All right, another technique that we can do is we can take stencils, and I'm going to take my snowflake stencils, and I'm just I've got a tape across this so that I can um, reserve an area to um, dedicate the, the ornament to somebody, like you know, baby's first Christmas, 2014 whatever the case may be. I'm going to go into white again. White is just super, super easy to do, but we're going to do white with a twist. Okay, so we're going <clears> to <throat> make this white. Let's put it wherever on that area. The only thing that's hard about this kind of ornament is you have to wait a little bit for drying, but if you just set up a leaning blow dryer, then you should be able to um, move quickly through your ornaments. And if you do multiples, that's really, really helpful because you can do like you know, five or six ornaments, and then um, while you're doing five and six, one and two is dry. Okay, then I'm going to take my texture glass, and I'm going to go right on through my stencil over the white so that the, the texture glass doesn't dry very, very clear. So I want it to be like it is white, like it's actually a snowflake. And this is so easy. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and peel that off. <clears throat> Set my stencil aside. I need to go wash that immediately. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take that little nug right there off. And I will take <clears throat> my glitter, if I can find my glitter. I'm going to take my glitter and I'm going to, um, I'm going to find my glitter. Okay, if you want to fill your container, they have these little tiny cute micro funnels that make an awesome transfer material. And did you know that you can actually mix your glitter colors? So in this case, I wanted a light blue, so I've taken this very strong blue and a white and mixed them together so that I created a lighter blue. Okay, and now we'll get this glittered. Okay, where do you see this when it's finished? Okay, I've done my other side, and before the, it all dries, I'm going to go ahead and peel that section. And isn't that really cool how that just leaves a little band for you to write on? Now I'll get that dry, and I'll show you what we'll do with that band. All right, the next kind of fun thing I want to talk about is this resin. This is a piece of resin and see how it looks like a giant water drop. What you can do is you can pour it on your surface and you can encapsulate. And in this case I've done it on my little um, paint bottle opener. See how thick that is. It's that bar finish stuff that you used to use. But what we've done is I've put the, the resin over the top of my glitter and so it just makes everything look domed and beautiful and ultra, ultra shiny and almost enameled. Really cool stuff. <clears throat> I've got a little cross section of a nonstick mat because this is really a testimony to this mat. This was laying on my mat and watch these little these little nugs of stuff. Let me get it under here. They just pop right off and this is two part epoxy or a resin. Okay, so truly nothing sticks to this this mat. It's really incredible. This is the medium and the bottom of my container. You'll want to use little um, ketchup containers from the, from the um, like McDonald's or something like that. Okay, let me get set up and I'll show you. Oh, to clean this off, <clears throat> pardon me, cold and flu season, 
you can just take your little handy scraper, which has rounded edges so it won't dig in, and that's how you clean resin off of your nonstick mat. Super simple. Okay, you put two parts of resin A to one part B. Okay, and then you put it in your little cup. I've got a popsicle stick and you stir it slowly. Okay, and you'll see it start to get just a little bit cloudy. <clears throat> what you want to do, the key is, and this doesn't bubble very much at all, but you obviously don't want to like whip it. Um, you'll start seeing it get cloudy and the secret is, is to keep stirring until it becomes clear like water. It just takes a few minutes. It's not super stinky. I was really afraid of this stuff when I first did it. I thought it was going to be horrifically smelly. This stuff is non-yellowing. I've had this guy done for quite a long time. And you definitely want, I've got um, one of my ornaments. I don't know if you can see. I didn't. It's not shiny like the other one. And the other one I had done super duper, I stirred and stirred and stirred and even let it sit for a few minutes. <clears throat> so not hurrying was a better idea. And you can suspend things in this. You can put little lockets, little keys. You can put outdoor things like leaves. You can put pennies and paper clips and money and all kinds of things like anything you want. Okay, so you're getting it all stirred up. <clears throat> okay, it's getting kind of clear. I'm going to let it sit for just a minute and find, I had two little examples. Let's see if I can find them. Okay, and as you can see, I'm getting kind of clear now. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll just pour some of this over the top. And what's really neat is this pretty much cups to an edge. Um, like it won't go pouring off over unless you overfill it. And even on this, um, which one that I was showing you just now, um, I actually overfilled it and then I went in with my cookie, my little spatula, and I, I took some away. Okay, so I'm just going to guide that to the edge like you're frosting a cake. It's really easy to do. your edge and you'll need a level spot in your house or wherever. I actually had a really hard time finding a level spot. I'm going to steal some of that and move it over. Okay, maybe we want just a little bit more. <clears throat> My popsicle stick is bent. I love the idea of the suspended glitter. It looks really cool inside. Okay, and we get that over there. And let that just rest. See how it's not pouring over the edges? That makes this stuff just magical. Just get it right up next to it. Okay, and then that's going to dry pretty much just like that when we're all said and done. Okay, now that's dry, you can see that what we've got here is we've got an almost a Battenberg-like lace effect. Okay, now I'll put them two together, and if you haven't jammed too much paint in there, they should slide right on in. Okay, just like that. And then you have a lovely 3D ornament that you can put just a little ribbon in the top, and you're good to go. It took minutes to do. Okay, I'll use my um, ghostwriter to write 2014. And then we'll use our fine liner brush to go ahead and line that. You could do a couple of things with this. You could totally um, do um, glass stain. You could do, like you could do just any of these combinations of things. That's what's fun about this is anything is, anything's good. <clears throat> okay, so you could take that, you could add your tape, either side, take that line, really get it taped down. Okay, 
And you could take your glass stain and you could go right over. The, oh, I'm going to have to dry that, aren't I? Okay, this may not work, but I'm kind of wanting to put my medium on there and then remove the tape and let it dry to the line. I'm not sure it's going to work. This is an experiment. Okay, so I'll go ahead and frost that. What I love about this is it is a self-leveling medium, so it's not... The thing that I don't know is if it'll hug that line even after I take the tape off. That's what I don't know. So I'm going to take some of that excess whoops, off so that it doesn't have too much weight pushing against it. And let it level itself out. Okay. Now, I'll go ahead and peel. We'll see what it does. It's kind of cool though, huh? 